Hello everybody and today I am back with a very interesting opening, DGT Kentaur. So let's click the button and start the game. So you can see it's spinning and loading. We'll move very quickly and then we can start the game. Okay, so it loaded. I can see what he plays with this small monitor. And I will make my first move. And you can see what it plays on this monitor. And as well, it also is highlighted here with these yellow circles. So I will continue. Very interesting. So you're playing against a computer, but it feels like you're playing with a real opponent. <laughs> Let's see, so an interesting opening, some sort of period. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Um, okay, let's see. I think I'll play with G2 here. Now I'm in castle, just finishing development, nothing very interesting now, so in the middle game the interesting stuff will start. So here I am thinking to play e4 and not let him play e4, so I think I can do it and take control over the center, because see it's a bit passive pawn structure. Okay, here, hmm. I would like to play a4 with my pawn, because his idea is b5, I think, at some point. Ah, oh, but I'm not sure. If he plays b5, I have d5. No, I think I'll play a4. Prophylaxis is good. Let's see, okay, rook e8. I'm going to play rook e1 also. So he's a bit passive. I'm having my pawns on 4th rank, most of them, but he has most of his pawns on 7th and 6th rank. Okay, here, I think we should d2 move is very interesting. And then d5. Let's see, if you will take, I will take back. Maybe I will do something else, I'm not sure. Hmm, I think I'll do this. So d5. And then take his bishop and have two bishop advantage. Yes, he does take. Um, here I'm not sure, should I play knight d5 or should I take the pawn on d4 first? I'll think a bit. Take, takes, knight e7. I think knight d5 is better. Takes, takes, win e7, knight d4. Bishop's advantage. Knight d5. Hmm. I think I'll play knight d5. If he protects pawn queen c5, I have knight c7, and that's a fork. So he plays queen d8, yep. Yeah. Then I'm going to take, oops, queen e7, adjust. I think he'll take with the queen, yes. I'm going to take his pawn. And now basically we are equal on material, but I have two bishops advantage, which is usually nice for you. And here I was thinking to play queen to b3, to protect d3 square, and to protect my c4 pawn. Um, yeah, let's play queen b3. So what I wanted to tell about this opponent, usually, sometimes it plays very interesting chess. It plays super strong, but then it plays weakly, and sometimes it plays super weakly, but then super strong, so it's like a real opponent. Or sometimes it plays super stable. So let's see. I took his second bishop, so now I have two bishops and he has two knights. Uh, my c4 pawn is a weakness. I think I'm just going to play rook a c1 and protect it. My idea is probably pawn to f4 to push his knight away. Okay, he plays b5, and that's the move I didn't calculate. Uh-oh, I think I'm losing a pawn. 
sí. Hmm. I think I will take and when he takes I play Bishop F1, I think. Okay, let's see. Should I sacrifice the pawn or play Bishop F1? Pawn with C takes takes. Pawn. It's a little bit scary because knight f3 can be a threat, but my queen protects it now, so I think it should be fine. Now I'm planning to play queen c3. This idea to take on b5, and if he takes, I take, he takes, I take, takes, rook b2, and then I will pawn down, but I have a bishop, and I'll play bishop f4. This most pawn hangs, so it should be fine, but I'm not sure. Or, yeah, I think queen c3 is needed. Takes, takes, that should be fine. But if he plays b4, I think I can just go back. Okay, he takes. I will take. So far, I have two bishops, but I think we'll trade most of our pieces. Okay, he plays queen g4. Whoa. He doesn't want to trade. Okay. Let's see. Can you turn it e4? f3, he takes e. That's not good. Oh, my queen hangs. So, queen to see is his threat. My pawn hangs as well. I think I should be too ill. I raise a pawn. It takes. Doesn't look great. Very nice, I think, if I would trade queens. I think okay, queen e3. I think if we trade and he takes a pawn, I have two bishops. I think I will get my pawn at least one pawn back. Let's move the list. So now basically just <laughs> murder the pawn. I can see bishop c3. Bishop c3. C3. Take screen trade and I'll take on e5. Okay, takes, I take. My idea is take on e5 and take the pawn. B3. Okay, rook b6. Yeah, I was planning to play 5. I'm, not sure. I'm just two pawns down now, but I don't really see a compensation. <laughs> um, Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I think I'll play rookie d1 trying to win his pawn. I have two bishops and position is pretty open, so I think it should be okay. Ooh, and now I have bishop d4 idea, and if he cannot play c5 now, that's why I didn't play bishop d4 before, because just c5. But now he has this, and my pawn hangs, yeah. Um, I think it was likely that he would go for it. Uh, that's why rook d1 maybe isn't a great move, because there are bishop d1. And though I would push his rook away, but now his rook is standing here. Let's see. If I take on e5, takes takes rook b e3 or b3 rook c8 rook e8 takes he'll take with rook bishop f3 rook d8 can f2 can f3 can e3 can e7 can e d4 Ooh, i'm not sure whether i should keep more pieces or whether i should trade but keeping more pieces i just don't see how to continue i think i will Trade and try to, to try to do something there in the end game. Uh, maybe I can somehow. Okay, yeah, he takes that was uh, that was weighted. So now I'll take rook c six. He takes with oh he doesn't take. Okay, he goes back. 
that's interesting that i <laughs> didn't wait that move um wow okay that's <laughs> that's weird that that made me a little bit shocked um I think I'll play Bishop of 3 idea to take his pawn because I gotta win pawn back. Of course my pawn hangs, but he doesn't take it. Okay, that's what I was telling. Sometimes he plays very great, but then he suddenly starts to play weirdly. Wow! <laughs> and now I see some tactical maneuvers, I think. I think there's a cool maneuver where I take Bishop d5. Oops. <laughs> If rook d5, rook c8, and that's made. And if he takes with a knight, I take back with a rook. And then if he takes, I have rook c8 and mate. And if he goes rook b5, I have bishop f7. I would an exchange. Would be very nice. If he goes like rook bb8, that should be fine. I think I can even play like bishop f3. So it seems like I'm winning a pawn back, and it seems pretty equalish. Okay, he goes through bb8. Let's see. Have I blundered something here or everything is fine? Oh, okay. So bishop f3. Takes, takes. That should be equal, I think. Bishop f3, rook e8. Then f, rook c3. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. So let's go bishop f3. Because if he takes, takes rook b1, f, rook c8. He pins my bishop, but it's fine for me. Uh, here I go rook c3, protecting my pawn from this side. Um, and I'm relatively sure it's pretty fine. Wow! g5! <laughs> Whoa, that is a bit interesting. Not a bit, that's very interesting. So his idea is g4, I think. But the question is whether it's scary, this g4 move or not. I was thinking to play rook f1 and then go away with my bishop somewhere and attack his knight. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, I will think about it. Uh, rook f1 in g4, I think, I think, I think, I think. I can even play rook c6. And then if he takes, I take, and he can just suddenly take. I think rook of one is my move. It may sound weird, it may seem weird, but I think it's fine. He plays rook e7, protect that pawn. Knight good for him. Because otherwise the pawn would, would fall, I think. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, sorry for quietness. I'm trying to see a way how can I because this pawn is a weakness, so I really want to win it somehow. <laughs> this is hard because if I attack my pawn with my rook, then he has h6 and it doesn't lose this pawn at all. So I'm thinking what can what can I do the best for me? Wow. There is a lot of moves and I think they are all fine, but I want to do the best move, so let's see. Uh bishop g2 king g7, c5 h6 there. Guess a weakness, but I'm not sure whether it hmm, maybe. Well, I'm not sure about bishop g2, but I think I'll go for it. If knight g4, e4 is interesting idea, I think maybe I'll close my bishop, but I don't know. Okay, close king g3, goes king g7. And here I was thinking rook c5, and after h6, I have rook cf5. I take in the knight, and if knight g4, for example, I have bishop d5 or something like this. Maybe. That'll be good, I'm not sure. Uh, I think rook c5, yes. The only scary part is after I play rook f5, knight g4, then knight e3 is so like triple fork or something, so it may be scary. It is kind of scary, so I will think about it. Mm, maybe it was 
So it's time. Let's look here, knight g4, bishop g5. Let's look at fate. You say you take on e3. That will be a triple four attack in my two rooks and my bishop. So I don't want that to happen. Um, let's see. Rook f5 here, there. Rook f8. Okay. Maybe I just go back to C3 or something. Rookie one. Maybe <laughs> I think I'll go rookie one. Just because usually you want to attack open and pawns and defend you from the back. That's what I'm doing. Okay, he goes knight g4. I think his plan is if I play e4, he wants to play knight e5 and block my pawn from moving. But I think I gotta play it because otherwise he will just eat my pawn. So, yeah, 95, yes. And I think that position is somewhat equal, but not equal at the same time because it feels like he's better. I think it's equal. Hmm, okay, let's play rook d1, just taking control over open file. I guess it's a nice knight for him, but okay, he place knight here. I'll go back. I'm fine with that. Because my idea is e5. And if he's fine with repetition, I'm fine as well. Uh, here, I think e5 is my move. Because e5, that was my plan. And I cannot see a way how he will attack my pawn. So, e5! <laughs> Let's go! And h3 can be a threat now winning his knight. So he has to be careful. Okay. Wow. That's very interesting. I gotta take them. Let's not think much about this. It takes back. And now is an important moment, I think. If I play bishop before, he has knight g4 and he wins my pawn. But I think I don't really have to move my bishop. I think I can also play like bishop e4, you know, bishop f3. And if knight f5, that's fine, because he threads nothing, and that should be fine. Um, if I play bishop h3, he has g4. That's a bit unpleasant, but bishop h3 looks very good, because king f2 is a threat, g4. And g4, king f2, probably goes for knight one then king e2, there, there, king d1, rook a7, rook, rook c4, rook a2. Hmm, wait, okay, I will calculate that, bishop h3, g4. Here. <laughs> Inch pitch three is a move. Yeah. I think I even if he plays g4 and I want to and I don't want to play king f2. I just have to play bishop g2 or bishop f1. Oh my god. Um let's see if king f2 and you want to king two. What I was calculating, GH can d1, rook a7, rook c2. Oh, maybe I'm scared. Um, let's see, king of 2 mm -hmm. I think I'm going for it. Maybe I'm blundering something. I don't know. Ready one. Rook a7! <laughs> wow! Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That he has a really, really one and only play style. Because rook a7, that's the same thing I calculated after ninety one. But from here my kid is closer. So that's actually better for me. Um, I was thinking king f3, this idea of king g4. And then if he plays rook a2, I play rook c7, takes e6. Maybe it's rook a2. Maybe it's a good. Rook a2. I think he takes f, h2, f8 there. Huh. Or rook c2 here. And I think king f3 is fine. I think I'm pretty fine here. Yes, another possibility is after... He plays rook d7 and he gave, gives me a pawn. Wow! So now I'm the one who is playing on wood. 
Okay, that is really interesting. <laughs> now I can take two pawns. I'm not sure which one to take because if king h5 here is rook d2 and then rook h2 is then, is take, I mean, I guess I'm slightly better about it. If king h3 here is rook d2 also and my king cannot move out. You can play here. <laughs> D2, D4. Okay, I will never guess any move of his, I think. Okay, adjust. Uh, okay, I think I'll play six. So, I'm the one who's playing. <laughs> I'm the one who's playing on win now, I think. I'll try my best. King g6, okay, I was thinking f6, but okay. Here my idea is g4, king h4, push the pawn, and slowly but surely try to win this. I will try my best to make it work. We'll see if it will work or not. Okay, I think g4 is a good move to start off with. If e5, then king h4, that should be much nice for me. So king h4. I have zero chances of losing now, unless I will one or something, or fall asleep. <laughs> okay, let's play h3. Just. Okay. Let's see. I have two passed pawns. And he is continuing to play very interesting chess. Okay, I think I can repeat once. Uh, rook d3, king h4. Yes. Here, here. Um... G7! <laughs> he, always when I play against him, he shocks me with his decisions. Hmm. King G5, Rook H3, Rook H7, that's a complete draw, I know, but I don't know how to continue to win this. Hmm. Okay, I think. I gotta try something. Oops. Uh, if you place king g6, okay, place rook e3, then king g4 here. Uh, king g6, I guess. Then I have rook a4, a4, a5, slowly. I'll try to play. Let's see. Rook a4, rook e1, h4, rook g1. If you play h4, yes, rook e4, then checks. Uh, and here is an uh, interesting thing. If you click this button, there it shows um, it shows the best moves and it shows the evaluation. So you place rook e1, and then as you can see, it shows what's the best move. Uh, if you really want to play it, then you can play it, but I was thinking h4. So basically, if you are not sure about the position and you want to get some little help, you can click this button. Um, if you just like, don't know, if you're winning or lost in a very complicated position, you can just click it and see. Um, rook e4, maybe rook a6 was better, but those two moves, which I wasn't sure which one is better. Let's see. Wow, he sacrifices a pawn. I will for sure take it. <laughs> you though now the problem <laughs> the problem is how will i get out of the checks it will check me forever check in king g2 maybe i will actually win this game from a much worse position we'll see okay rookie six king h5 rookie six king g4 there i think i had something similar in beth i played quite a long time ago Six. King f5, yeah. That's a nice point though, I think. Because rook h6, I have to play rook h6 to protect this pawn. Because if king h5, rook h6, king g4, everything was forced. But okay, now would be one. I think I can slowly but surely move the pawns up. Like g6, h5, etc. etc. So let's go for it! I want to win!
Let's skin f6. I'm playing h5. That's what I was saying. Slowly but surely. Up, up and up. Check. Oh, no. 50,000 checks are here again. <laughs> check. It will check me for a while. Check. I think I can hide here and then play rook h7 and continue my maneuver. So as you can see, it's moved 71 already. Okay, here, king c4. I'll try to win this. Rook b7. And now if I go here, he will check me again. <laughs> okay, so you can play rook h8. And he plays rook g7. Okay, I'll give a check. Ah, maybe I had a win h6. I think if instead of rook f8 and h6, here, 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 would be a forever game, but I would win probably. Maybe I missed a win here, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, now rook f7, and then again rook h7. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed a win. Okay, here. And now he checks me. Hello, my checks. I'm going to win this. Check. I'm going to here. And as you can see, his skin is here. And he's not near my pawns. So I'm pretty sure the win is close. Let's push my pawn. And now he could give me checks, but he lets me to promote a queen. And here uh, you can choose on the monitor to, to choose. You can, what piece you want to promote. But I, of course, want a queen. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's move 80 now. Um, I think I'll play rook. I'm sure rook g7. And then just check, 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 and mate at some point. He will check me now again. Yes. Check. I go here. Now, oh, maybe he had a mouse slip because <laughs> he didn't check me. He was one square away from checking me. Let's see here, here. I'll go queen here. I won't push his skin into corner because otherwise it would be a stalemate. So now he will check me for like one, two moves, I think. More than that. Uh, okay, rook d4. And now my idea is that if we'll trade, if we'll trade, yes, yes we will. I will take, and then, as you can see, his skin is here, yes. and now I'm going to push my pawn, he will, he will play king h3, I'm going to play h7, yes, the only move king h2, and then I'm going to put my queen, take my pawn off the board, it's about, uh, now, promotion, and that's a win. Good game. <laughs> so that was a very nice game. Uh, nice high five. <laughs> that was a very nice game. Very interesting board. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I hope to see you soon. Take care and bye.